All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to Windows 11 using DS4 Windows. And this is also going to show you how to connect your PS4 controller to Windows 11 using Bluetooth, because that's just going to be part of the tutorial. So the first thing you need to do is just, you can just Google DS4 Windows. And you want to come down here to the GitHub version that says releases Ryochan 7 DS4 Windows. I'm not sure who owns this website here, but it's not actually related to the developer. So go to their GitHub page, which will look like this. And then you're going to want to download and install three things. The first thing you're going to want to grab is the .NET framework, which there's a link here to the .NET 8 desktop runtime. I'm going to say for the sake of longevity, you should just down, you should just go to the .NET website and download the .NET desktop runtime for 9.0. It's actually up to 10.0, although I think this is actually still in development. So I'm going to say go with 9 for right now. So I'll link 9 in the video description below. You're going to want to grab the Windows 64 bit edition for the desktop runtime. So that's right here in the middle. We're going to grab the 64 bit edition. And I'm going to put it in a Windows 11 controller folder that I already have set up. After that, we're going to want to go ahead and Google Vigimbus driver, which is the driver that allows your computer to communicate with the technology that makes all of these controllers work. And then you can go ahead and click on, again, the GitHub uh, repository. This one's by Nefarious Software Solutions. They've got like a little My Little Pony icon. And you're going to want to download the latest version of Vision Bus. It's not being updated anymore. Um, it's Vision Bus 1.22, 64-bit 86 ARM 64. It's all one edition. You're going to want to go ahead and grab this and install it as well. And then the last thing you want to grab is DS4 Windows itself. I just already downloaded the x64 bit edition, which is a zip file. You pretty much always want to grab the 64 bit edition of software these days. Pretty much nobody who's doing any meaningful amount of gaming is going to be running on 32 bit. Uh, but if you do know that you're running on 32 bit for a specific reason, by all means, grab the 32 bit edition. With that out of the way, I will go ahead and uh, start installing stuff. I would suggest run, installing the .NET framework first. In this case, I'm going to be installing an update to the .NET framework. It'll also pop up an administrative pop-up window, which made my, my screen go black there for a sec, where you guys just give it permission to do its installation. And none of these particular installers should take all that long to do. The .NET framework comes directly from Microsoft. And then you'll also want to install Vision Bus. I'm not going to reinstall it because I already have it installed, but go ahead and install that. And then the last thing you want to do is extract DS4 Windows to a folder of the same name. So I'm just going to extract it to same named folder right here. And before we go any further, I'm actually going to connect my controller to Windows 11. So to do that, I'm going to open up my Windows 11 settings. Then you want to go to Bluetooth and devices in the left hand sidebar. From here, we're about to click on the add device button. But first, we're going to grab our controller, make sure it's charged. And we're going to press and hold the PlayStation button in the center below the little speaker hole and the share button at the same time until the light on the back begins to flash rapidly like a strobing emergency light. Then we're going to click on add device and we're going to search for a Bluetooth device. And we should see a generic wireless controller pop up right here. That is our PlayStation controller. One of the things I'm kind of disappointed by from Sony is that they don't label these. So your PlayStation 4 controller and your PlayStation 5 controller just shows up as a generic controller. There you go. Now our controller is connected to the computer, and then we can go ahead and proceed with the next portion. I'm going to open up DS4 Windows, and then inside of this mess is a rainbow logo here at the top. That's the actual application. 
and we're going to go ahead and double click it. And we're going to say, yep, I trust this. I go ahead and run it. And it's going to pop up if .NET Framework is properly installed, it'll pop up this question of where do you want to save your data? Put it in the program folder instead of your app data folder. That is because if anything happens and you need to reset DS4 Windows, which happens, you just delete the program folder and then extract a new copy rather than having to dig through your app data folder to delete different settings folder. It just makes it a lot cleaner and easier to run everything. So this is also going to pop up a new pop-up window for first launch. It's going to ask you what devices you want to have support enabled for in DS4 Windows. I'm just going to be using it for a PlayStation 4 controller, which is the DS4 device here at the top. The DualSense device is the PlayStation 5 controller. Switch device support is for the Pro controller. Joy-Con is obviously for the Joy-Cons. And DS3 is for the PS3 controllers. I'll do these all in separate tutorials, but if you want to enable support for anything else, you can right here. If you're not going to use any of this other support, leave it turned off because it helps to prevent conflicts when using this uh, software to play games. So I'm going to hit close because I don't need that. And then it's going to pop open the actual DS4 Windows interface. And because it's already running, it's going to scan for and detect my PlayStation 4 controller and it should just pop up automatically. If it doesn't, it might be because it's currently in stopped mode. Make sure that the little button in the corner here says stop. If it says start, click start, and then it should, you know, scan for and connect to your controller again. And from this point forward, you're pretty much good to go. You don't really need to edit anything else. Just leave DS4 Windows open and running on your computer and it'll act like an active driver pretending that your PlayStation 4 controller is a Xbox controller. And you might think to yourself, Larry, I don't really understand why I, it has to be an Xbox controller. I wanna play with PlayStation buttons. Unfortunately, if you were able to play with PlayStation buttons, that would mean the game you wanted to play already had PlayStation controller support and you wouldn't need an extra driver. The fact that you need this driver pretty much means that you have to have it set so it emulates an Xbox controller. That said, if you wanna change it and experiment with seeing if it'll still run as a PlayStation controller, you can hit this edit button right here. This will open up the configuration panel for your key bindings and everything inside of DS4 Windows. You can literally click on any one of these buttons to bind it to either a different button on your keyboard or a different button on the Xbox. You want to go over to this tab over here on the right side at the top it says other and you can change the emulation type from Xbox to PlayStation 4 controller and then you can hit save at the top and then it'll just close it and now this is pretending to be a PlayStation 4 controller again. If that breaks your game and you can no longer use your controller because you made this change all you have to do is go back to edit go over to other and change the emulation type back to Xbox 360 and then click save. I'm going to say right now at the end of this tutorial that if you want to save yourself a lot of headache and trial and error, either use Steam's built-in drivers for your games when possible, or just buy yourself an Xbox controller because it's got a lot better support when you're playing on Windows. Um, I think that's in part because Windows really just wants you using their stuff. But whatever the case, this is sort of a workaround that works for some games and not others. I know people have been using the software to run extra scripts to cheat at some first person shooter games. And as a result, DS4 Windows will either not function when you're trying to play those games because it gets blocked, or it will prevent those games from being launched until DS4 Windows is closed. If you have that happen, you'll have to use either Steam's drivers or you'll have to use a different driver altogether, which you can find other driver options and solutions on my channel. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Windows 11 computer and use it as an Xbox controller to play video games.